We got Willow. We got Molly. We got the door open because, hello Chino. Hello Penny, hello Storm. Good right morning guys, welcome to today's video in the dark. Good morning. Welcome to today. We had to do some switching, a route, switching around last night because it was supposed to thunderstorm in the night so we put the horses in, but that's not the real reason. The real reason is we have a week to get these horses on new barn schedule and they're gonna have indoor board. So we gotta get them indoor. Holy heck, Finn, you been pooping. All right, it goes Chino. Finn's like, don't leave me to last. It's weird, he's only like that in his stall. There you go, handsome. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Get up, go outside, and see what these last few days of summer has for you. Abby's at Kaylee's, anytime they're together, they always go to sleep over. Now I see the problem with Sam. He said it's hard to give Gracie her medicine, and it's because this girl likes medicine. She's like, give it to me. She just tried to fight Gracie and say like, you're not having the medicine. You're not having the medicine, Willow, it's not for you. She knows what it is too, and she wants it. Like, this is what she... This is what she wants. She wants Gracie's medicine. Sophie, I mean, Curly is down at the barn. She took care of the puppies this morning. Good girl. Look at her gorgeous curls oh, from her braids. I know, she, she wants- She let me put the halter on. Who, Gracie? Willow. Willow, oh, I know. Willow wants it. She's fighting for it. She's like, I am the lead mare. I will get it all for myself. But it's medicine and you Wait, can't have it. Just... But finally, they make horse medicine tastes good so it's easy to give her the ponies like she likes it and she takes it easily she's Kay. such a good pony now now watch oh, here to... hold the medicine she wants the medicine. That's your medicine anyway gracie's a lot better She's fixed. In fact, she didn't really even, the medicine takes a while to get into your system, but the dewormer really changed changed how she felt. So now that the horses are going to a new barn and they have indoor board, I want them to have indoor board, even though I really love the horses being outside. I like it so much better when we move to our new barn eventually. Um, I want to keep them outside all the time in the summer. The only thing being bad weather, I don't like to keep them outside because anything can happen. And I want to keep them safe and ice and snow are not that horse friendly. So I want them to have indoor board. So that means that they're going to be indoor and they're so, I'm going to have an anxiety attack when we move them. I'm going to be so upset, so sad, so stressed out. Like you have no idea you guys. Storm, like storm, uh, storm's anxious right now because he's separated from his friends. We're going to add him back to his friends. He's going to be like, a raging bull when we take him there because that's what he does he's gonna be like that and then the way the stalls are set up there storm and finn are gonna be together like near each other in the stalls and chino's gonna be further away do you feel like finn's a different horse because storm's not around him yeah me too this he is got no he's, he's so kind and gentle in the show ring he shows off more yeah uh, so this is Gabby's finished hot wall of fame for Storm. Like, yeah, you guys, this is our champion boy. And this is Sophie's finished thing. She just left all of her ribbons on there. She just added the new ones, kind of made them look better. Some of these ribbons are from Finn. Maybe they're all from Finn, I don't know. And then over here, oh, you guys, oh yeah, you guys will have already seen it. These are Mr. Chino Bambino's ribbons, remember? Um, he, she actually has three first place in the champion. When we first got him, before he got sore, he won champion, champion, champion at our first show. Um, so she has those ribbons. I should tell her to bring those down because they're from this year as well. But he's just getting back into it. He now have to relearn each other again. Like a uh, horse that knows you is a better ridden horse, I feel like, a horse that you're connected with. But anyway, these are his ribbons from the show. I did find out that we actually are gonna go to another show. Like the shows are just picking up now. I thought like usually they end at the end of the summer, but they're just starting to pick up because of COVID. So I think there will be more shows. Definitely we're gonna go to another. Do you know how we're putting them out? Yes, 
we are taking Storm and Finn and then Chino. Yeah. Right? Because that's what Dad says. All right. Today's Tuesday. We have a lot of things happening this week, all on the same day, practically. But we have three three things that we need to do this week. Three fun, exciting things that we're doing this week. This is the last week before school, sort of. So essentially, in most of our area, staggered learning is happening. So kids are going back one day and then not like the next day and stuff. Um, and it starts next week. Next week. Uh, in our house. We're going back the week after school. Sam's taking holidays next week. And we plan to do some fun things like maybe buy a horse, maybe go away. Like, yeah, we're doing some fun things next week. And then school starts back. But for the most but for the most part, this is most people's last week before school begins. Like, it's insane, you guys. Enjoy. Get out there and do the things that you didn't do. Okay, so I do have a question though. My question is this. Looking back on your summer, what would you do differently? Like, looking back, what would you do differently? Now that you know all the things that you know, would you do anything differently in your summer? Would you have played harder, worked more, read more, watched more videos? What would you have done more, different? All right, Sophie. Soph? Where are you, Soph? Sophie! Oh gosh, I walked away and I lose her. <gasps> Don't lock that door, that's dangerous. You locked it. <gasps> How'd you get in? From this door. Oh. Okay, so here's my question. Looking back on the summer, what would you what do you wish we had done that was different? Keep in mind that COVID was here and we couldn't do um, much. Show more. Show more. I wish we had done more clinics. I have a clinic planned for us for the fall. Yeah. That's my plan, you guys. I plan to do more clinics. You guys know Storm's been struggling and we struggle with him. We separated him, which is not the right solution. We need to teach him how to be a better leader, how to be a better herd mate instead of separate him. But I need help with that. And just so much going on with other people and our coaches. So I do did find a clinic that I am gonna work on. I wanna wait until I get my horse and then we're all gonna work on, go to this clinic with our horses. But that means one horse is gonna get left out unless Sam goes. So I'm gonna figure that out. I'm gonna figure it out, you guys. Stay tuned for more clinics though. Different kind of clinics. Clinics that teach us how to make our horses happier. All right, Finn's done. Storm's done. Is Storm done? No, oh yeah, you're done. All right. You know when Finn's done when he starts dropping his bucket. Yeah, when he picks it up and drops it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, sister. So Sam was worried about us. He said, Sam gave us instructions last night because Gabby's away and said, you need to do it this way. Put the horses out this way so everybody's happy. So we are gonna try it. We are gonna try it. Let's do it. The thing that's not that easy is that we now have to clean stalls and they trash them. And I need to go back to buying shavings, which was a nice break this summer. I'm not gonna lie, the amount of humidity in the air right now is shocking. It says it's 65 degrees outside, 65, but, but it's hot, like so humid. Like I can tell the horses were sweating. It is 65 degrees in the, in the barn too and the horses were sweating. That's how humid it is. So in today's video, I'm gonna reveal my horse. Like I'm not gonna show you the actual horse. I'm gonna actually show you like parts of the horse. The horse is not actually for sale out there, I don't think, like there's no ads or anything. So I, I, so I don't think anybody would be able to find her, but there, everybody, somebody always knows somebody. So I, uh, I'm gonna sort of reveal my horse to you guys today. So I'm gonna explain my decision. I'm gonna explain like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get her. Like I've sent videos to her trainers. I have looked at her, I've researched, I've like, I'm planning my life already around her. This winter, imagine us having another mare here, something that I can work with. Like, the direction that I wanna take our learning is 
such a different direction, you guys. It's true, like, I wanna take this little farm and our education up a notch. If I'm gonna get my own horse, I need to learn my own way. And all this, like, traditional stuff is really hard for me to learn. I want my horse to wanna to be with me. I want my horse to want to, to look at me and see, like, happiness. So I'm gonna get bring in new professionals maybe. We're gonna keep Fiona and Brandon, like don't get me wrong. My kids are still gonna be having lessons with them. I might still have lessons with them. Uh, but I'm gonna change it up, you guys. We're gonna learn some new skills this fall. We're gonna learn some new things. We're gonna do some new things and I am so excited about it. Like I can't wait to share with you all my new plans. Two happy ponies. You guys, your world is about to get shaken up probably. There's gonna be a new girl in town. I'm saving up all my money. Why? To get a <laughs> Yeah. <gasps> well, maybe one day when, hey, get away from her food. Okay, there's nothing in there, but that's her food. You made me hurt my hand. You may be bossy, but you don't get to eat everybody's and food. And if we put it in with Willow, it'll be Willow baby. It's bigger than Willow. It'll be, so, so my new horse, okay, let's talk about my new horse, okay? okay? So throughout this video, so don't skip ahead. Throughout this video, I'm gonna give you guys a clue to my new horse. I'm gonna explain about my new horse. I'm gonna let you guys see the inside of Laura's brain and the new horse. So I'm gonna start with the fact that I love Gypsy Vanners. Like, I, I love Gypsy Vanners. Oh my gosh, what were you into? Why is it all over you? Why is it all over me? Oh, goodness. Okay, so I love Gypsy Vanners, and the reason I love Gypsy Vanners are because they're low to the ground, and they're wide enough and strong enough to carry me, because I'm a really tall person, and I'm not super skinny, and I want a horse that I feel comfortable riding. I do not want a horse that I feel can't carry me or that I feel nervous about riding, and so that is important to me. I love Gypsy Vanners, because they have such a nice nature. Like they're just a gentle, they're just a gentle, more calm horse. Of course you can get exceptions to every rule, but as a, as a general rule, I spent a considerable time on a gypsy farm before and, and I've seen firsthand how gypsies are. They're just the sweetest, most amazing horses and I love them. And I love how beautiful they are. They're, to me, they're one of the most beautiful breeds on earth. I love their feathers, I love their hair. I love how much weight is on them. I love everything about a gypsy. It was my dream horse from the very beginning. From before you guys even knew us, I always said if I ever got a horse, it would be a gypsy because of their puppy dog personalities. Our horses do have puppy dog personalities. Yeah, they do have puppy dog personalities. I think you can make a horse a puppy dog personality easily, for sure. Just gotta give them a lot of treats. And a lot of love. So, I love Pasofinos because it's the only horse I've ever ridden that makes me feel comfortable. Pasofinos are a smaller breed. They're a sturdy breed. Uh, they are able to carry weight. They were meant to carry men up and down fields where they were where they were first bred. They were like a working horse. They're alert and fast. And that's one big, huge misconception that people have about me. They think I want a really slow, lazy horse, and I don't. I'm like Sophie here. I like a horse that's like me. Like I, when I wake up in the morning, I jump out of bed, and I'm a busy, active person. And I like a that's horse. That's not me. That's not you, no. But I like a horse like that. Like, why do you like riding Finn? Because he has enough energy that you don't have to kick him every step. Yeah. So like, he just goes, and you don't yeah. have to kick him every step. Like, and it's not that I don't want to kick a horse. It's not that I don't want to like have to be in charge of the horse. It's that. I want a horse that wants to do what I want to do. Like, like Finn. Yeah, like I like a horse that gets up and, and is like, all right, let's go, let's do it. I hate a horse. I hate saying to a horse, like, come on, you have to do this, and them hating it the whole entire time. Like, that's not me. I, I won't that's ride a horse boring. like that. Like, I don't enjoy my rides. I don't enjoy riding Polly. I don't enjoy riding horses that don't want to be ridden, and I don't want a horse like that. I love the alertness of a Pasofino. Like, people around us say that they're crazy horses. Like, there's so many stigmas on a gated horse, and it's true. When you're used to watching a regular horse go, and then you watch a Pasofino horse go, you think there's something wrong, or you're like, why are they moving like that? 
once you really ride a Pasofino horse, there's nothing like it in the earth, in, uh, on earth. Pasofinos are so good for people who have health issues. Pasofinos are so good for people that are older. Pasofinos are good for people who have had past injuries, although I have no problems with my past injuries. I healed up perfect. And literally they're really easy to ride horses. You put me on a Pasofino and it could gallop away with me and I'll just sit there enjoying life. Like, the thing I don't love about the Gypsy is that they're heavy horses. Like, they're, I don't know, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it, they're big, clunky horses, if that makes sense. So, like, I, I said that wrong. Don't come at me. Like, I love gypsies. I just, like, I like a horse that's a manageable size, even though I'm not a small person. When I take Gracie out into the, for walks, I, like, you guys do not, I never show it, but I come alive when I'm with Gracie, and it's because she's a manageable size for me. I don't feel intimidated by her. I feel amazing when I walk her and give her treats, and I train her, like, I work with her. Like, I love Gracie because she's not intimidating, and the Gypsy is a bit intimidating because of their girth and because they're hard to, like, they can, they're just, they're just a heavier horse, a bigger horse. The thing I don't like about the Pasofino horse, and this is the biggest thing I don't like about the Pasofino horse, is that they are small and that there's so much misconception about what, how, oh. the thing I don't like about the P Pasofino horse is the judgment and the, and the comments. Like, I've talked about getting a Pasofino horse to our trainers, to a lot of other people in the riding world, in the hunter world, and they all say the same thing. Oh, they're crazy. They're like, people laugh. They, they, people look away when, like I've been with people where we've been in arenas and they've watched gated horses ride and people, the people I've been with have laughed and made fun of them. And like, there's a big stigma in our area. There's a bit, I don't know, comment below. I know a lot of you guys own Pasofinos because you sent me messages. Do, you guys feel the stigma of having a gated horse? Hot. I know, it looks cold outside, but it's hot. The stigma in our area of me riding a gated horse is gonna be some, would be something that I would have to overcome. And even though I would do it anyways, despite them, I would still struggle with it. I wanna have a horse that people love. I don't wanna have a horse that people are like, ew, you shouldn't be riding that, that's just disgusting, like, ew. Like, I don't wanna have that, but if that's the right horse for me, I will do it. What do you have to say, Sophie? You shouldn't let anyone tell you away from your dreams. You should not let, but what if mom and dad and Gabby, what if you wanted to go play soccer? Okay, I know you don't want to go play soccer. <laughs> I know. What if you wanted to go play soccer? Listen. And we were like, ew, why would you play soccer? Soccer is awful. And we never wanted to go to your games and we never wanted to do and drive you there. How, what would you do? Get someone else to drive me. Yeah, good girl. You stick it. You stick it yeah, up I'm for you. never doing soccer. <laughs> I'm never going to soccer. No offense about soccer. Like, I like soccer. <laughs> I just don't like it for too me. Too much running for me. Yeah, too much for me too. All right, let's get to choring. I'm gonna go do the pony field and then I'll be back in and do Gabby's. I mean, you have a big wheelbarrow. All right. All right, I will clean the stalls if you clean this room. It is such a mess. Uh, Sophie's gonna make a new section over here for the kitty litter and the food and water. Or we might put the food and the water up here. I don't know. Anyways, um, our barn, literally, oh, I have to buy some of that. We're out of everything. We're out of that. Don't judge the mess, you guys. We're out of this. I need to make a list. We're out of everything. We need to take a t trip to the tax store this week. And we are going to. Let's use those. It's a nice forward trot. Yeah, he's a forward horse now. He wants to show Gabby. She's not a lemon trail yet. He can't get the paces still. He looks like a fool from far away. Finn is just like you. Just like you, Sophie. He feels bad. Even though he hurts him all the time, he still loves him and still feels bad. And Chino doesn't care. 
Chino be like, I'm having my food. I'll see you later. And Roy only cares about Finn because Chino trots off on his own. We always hurt the ones that love us most because we think that they will accept us no matter what, I feel like. All right, we are clean and ready to roll. Come on, Soph. Sophie and I have to go do some shopping this morning. And I'll explain in just a second. Gypsy Vanners are very fun, friendly, family oriented kind of horses. Pencil Vanners are quick. Assertive little horses that bond fiercely with their owners. Gypsies are family horses and really good for kids. And Pasofinos are more of a one owner kind of horse, even though they can have lots of owners, but they really need a bond, really like a bond, and they bond they bond really easy. Gypsies bond with anyone. So we are headed to get grain because at the new barn, our, it includes grain. So uh, he doesn't, I offered to provide our own grain anyway because I like them to stay on the same stuff. He prefer that we switch them over. So I'm gonna go buy some of that so that I can slowly over the course of this week, mix it with our grain so that it's not like a big shock, a new house, new herd, new grain. Like that is a colic episode waiting to happen times three. So we're gonna try and integrate the new grain slowly over time. We're gonna go do that right now. Storm's on his best behavior out there, so. His fade noise goes by. Yeah, you guys don't even understand. Like, Sophie, Sophie has such a huge heart. Like, if somebody's struggling or hurting, she goes to them, and she's quiet, and she's calm about it, but she always goes to them. And every time Storm calls out, Finn goes right up over the hill so he can see Storm, and then Storm settles down. Like, I love that boy so much. What is Finn, what is Chino doing? Eating. like chicken food I have to make sure it's like you can't be giving me stuff that I don't know so that's the grain and we're Sophie and I are so confused by it. it does not look like anything we know so we're gonna look at it when we get home but it's called NRG by Master Feeds and that's what Fiona used to feed her horses before she switched to the stuff that we give this now NRG horse all right, this is it. This is all I could fit because I forgot to take all the beach stuff out of the back of the car. So we'll have to come back for more shavings and more chicken food. All right, now we are at the dollar store because Welcome. Sophie loves her dollar store. Oh, that's cute. Look how cute that is. But Molly can't get her mouth around that. Hot dogs. Yeah, the hot dog's cute. I hate dog toys though. They're it's all over cute. our house. Sophie is all about the slime. Molly, all right, we gotta carry all this I stuff. That door up, and she went through here. Molly went through there. Yeah. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing there, Missy? Oh, good. Your lipstick's good. She had to check her lipstick, guys. But look at how cute she looks with her light pink hair now that's turned light pink, and then her gorgeous lipstick. She bought lipstick at the dollar store, and actually, she has cute lips. Like she put it on nice. Maybe you're gonna be a makeup guru. This is the new bed for the kittens. I'm sorry, I'll make it cleaner for you. So here's our new kitty bed. If you guys didn't, if you guys missed it, you might've missed it, but we moved the kittens into this room now. They're not in the barn anymore, they're in this area. Whenever my lipstick is messed up, you tell me. Yeah, you guys tell her. Scream, Sophie, your lipstick is messed up. Look at how cute those lips are. And that gorgeous hair. And that gorgeous kitty. Hello. Mm -hmm. Last night I was cuddling up with dustpan. You know how I'm always complaining because none of the horses choose me? Well, <laughs> our cat at the house, I don't like cats really. I don't love cats. Like cats are not my thing. I'm more of a dog person. Well, the cat at our house, she chose me. She chose me. She sleeps with me every night now. It's been like this whole entire summer. She just sleeps with me, beside me. I roll over and she smack it right in my face. Like. She just chose me. So anyways, last night, listen, last night I was rubbing her like this 
and then I started rubbing her belly and then she bit my hand and then I started rubbing her like this again and then I rubbed her belly and then she bit my hand. She oh, that's like, playful, that's fan. No, she was telling me like, stop rubbing my belly. So I did. So when you mix grain, you have to do, you have to start like 80, 20. So let's do. He normally gets nine cadence. So he usually gets nine. So we'll give him seven cadence in two of these. Okay. And you do it over like about a week or so. There is Chino's grain. When Gabby, Sophie, and Molly and I went on the Pasofino Trail recently, when I got off the horse, I was so sad to get off. I wanted to stay on. Usually, when I ride a horse, sometimes I don't even want my whole lesson. I'm like, okay, I'm done now. Like, I've had enough. But after an hour and a half of being on that little horse, I was sad to get off and when I, I felt it hard to walk away I felt it like sad I wanted to do it again and I and I it was the first time it's the first time I've ever really experienced that like wanting wanting to get back wanting to not get off wanting to stay on the horse horses are a lot of work you guys holy heck all right that's just for a couple of days so yeah after that feeling that is when I decided like maybe I'm ready for a horse. Maybe I want a horse. I know you guys have so many questions. What the heck do you want a horse for, Laura? You don't even like to ride. Well, I do like to ride those horses. And what do I want a horse for? So I asked myself that question and I've been thinking about it. Good. And she has to check her lipstick, you guys. Did it look okay? Were you all screaming in the background? Your lipstick smudged. Anyways, the reason I want a horse is to learn on, to play on. I want a horse to to have and to bond with that's that's why i want to have a horse but i want a horse that i can ride i want to be able to jump on my horse and go out there with my girls and have fun like i primarily want a horse to do work with like to bond with and to grow as a horseman like ever since i decided on the breed narrowed it down to this horse i've been looking up things that i've never looked at before i've been really exploring the whole idea of ownership. Like, you guys know, I got Stella by default. She was never really only my horse, and she, I was never in the same mindset as I've been since I rode the Pasofino horse. All right, so. Hi, okay, Sophie, you can reveal it. Is her lipstick smudged? No. What, horse, what breed am I picking? Pasofino. I'm picking a Pasofino, and but I know. But she should go with Skittles, a gypsy. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, they're too small for you, but you know what? I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna try her and if it feels comfortable and she feels comfortable carrying me, which the lady says that it, she carries her six two husband. And if- Isn't that hard? Cause you're, you're used to measuring- same Hand hands, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so oh if God. it works out you guys, I'm getting a Pasofino. And even more than that, I feel God leading me. Like, I'm gonna tell you something. I hate vlogs that are all just talking, but I have to tell you something. And that God leads you to something, there's no worry, there's no stress. It all just feels calm and relaxed. And as soon as I saw this little mare and I talked to this woman, I felt it in my heart, even before I knew I wanted this horse. I felt it in my heart that this is my horse. And I don't know why, I don't know what God's plan is, but I don't feel stressed. I don't feel like she's gonna sell her. I feel that this horse is meant for me. I feel God leading me to this horse. I feel secure and confident that this is my horse. I feel like even if I do nothing, that I'm gonna end up with this horse. Like it's such a surreal feeling when God guides you. Like once you let God guide you, you get the feeling of what it, what, how you, you learn what it feels like when it's out of your hands. I feel like this is out of my hands. I feel like, I feel like no matter what I do, this is this horse is going to be coming to me. Before I decided on the Pasofino breed, I saw in a dream a Gabby, like I told you, standing out in the field with with this smaller horse, a mare, lunging it. And it, so this mare matches that horse, and that's not the only reason. I just have like the craziest feeling that this is my horse, and that we're going to grow and learn together, and that this is going to be my big winter project. This is gonna be something that I'm gonna really do this time. Like, I feel like with the horses, I don't do them, 
I feel like the girls do the horses and I'm just like a, a participant. This horse is gonna be mine. Like she's gonna be mine and I'm gonna be in charge of her and I'm gonna learn my own way with her. I'm gonna learn my own way and I'm going to learn a different way. Anyways, I'm gonna give you one more clue and I might show you some pictures of parts of her body. One thing that I did not want, like one thing I knew is that I did not want a bay horse. I definitely wanted a horse that had white on it and a paint would be preferable. I wanted a beautiful horse. <laughs> But I knew that whatever God led me to, I would love. But I wanted a pretty horse. And I didn't want a bay because we already have three bays. And this horse is a bay. <laughs> but I trust God, and so I'm just going to go with it. And anyway, you guys, next week I'm going to go. It's, it's going to be like a seven-hour drive or an eight-hour drive all round trip. But next week I'm going to go and try this horse when Sam's on holidays. So, yeah, that's all about my new horse, you guys. I feel it in my heart that she's my new horse. I might have to eat those words, but I believe it. Now, if you're thinking that I'm breathing really heavy, it's not me. It's that. <laughs> and this. Hello, pretty girl. Don't you know that you're beautiful?